Hello and Happy New Year. I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas and a Happy New Year and it's all been calm and, you know, everyone's enjoyed themselves without any problems. Um, I had a quiet one at home, so it's been great. Um, so I thought I'd do a little video for you today. I've seen a couple of videos about this and it, it's something that's really... I'm thinking about seriously getting into because I think it will change my workflow and it's called contextual toolbars okay I didn't find too many videos on this so I thought I'd chuck my little kind of two cents in that um what I've discovered so far I want to get down and sit down and spend a few days and make some toolbars specifically for this purpose but I'm starting to find that these huge toolbars that I've got I tend to spend as much time looking through them as I did looking through the menus, which is why I made the toolbars to sort myself having to look through so many menus. But, you know, it's starting to get a little bit the same kind of thing, you know. So you kind of get what I mean when I say this. I can you, These toolbars can be in smaller chunks and more specific to what you're actually working on, okay? I'll give you an example of one that I've got set up. Now, I'll deselect all the tracks. Now if I just hover my mouse over, now I'm not going to click anything, I'm just going to hit F1 and that opens up this toolbar here which has some effects chains in there that I can set on this, these tracks specifically. And that one I'm going to expand with my most used effects etc that will be on a list on that on this toolbar. But you know I can hit a button and it will insert these effects. It, I've got it set up so that it selects the track under the mouse, opens the toolbar, and then puts these um, effects onto the, the toolbar. Okay, so if I remove that. So that's only one that I've got set up at the moment because I was messing about with this, trying to, to work it out. So how I did this, let's get back into uh, actions first. Um, you can do this after you set your contextual toolbars up if you want, but I'm just going to show you now. I've got a custom action here, which is my contextual toolbars one. So what this means is I've got it set to the hotkey F1. Okay, now if you don't know how to do that, you, you create your custom action, which we'll have a look at. Let's edit that. And it's just select track under mouse and then exclusive toggle contextual toolbar under mouse cursor preset one which basically you you see what i mean there's different presets you can have so you can use different hotkeys to do even if it's hanging hovering over the track panel i can have different hotkeys and different toolbars will open up without having to move the mouse if you're with me um the exclusive toggle means that it'll when I switch that, my, that toolbar on, if I've got another toolbar open, it will close the previous toolbar and this will be exclusively that toolbar, specific toolbar open. So it means you don't have shitloads of toolbars open in the end, you know, simple as that. Um, so, to create the hotkey, you just add over here in the shortcuts for selection, selected action, click add, hit whatever controller you want, to say I've used F1 um, and that's that okay so if we open up the extensions tab here and scroll down if you've got the latest SWS extensions installed and I think this only works in version 5 and above uh, don't quote me on it but I know on my MacBook I tried to do this and it wasn't there so I had to update my SWS extensions so if you haven't got contextual toolbars update your SWS extensions and it will appear. So if we hit that, now as you can see, this is preset one. Okay, so you can have various different presets set up with different hotkeys that will open up. Okay, so I think it's up to eight here. Okay, so we're on number one. As you can see down here, here's my track panel with the track effects chains there. Okay, so that's the one I just showed you. So let's set up another one. So in the Arrange view, for example, I want it just to be in the empty Arrange view. I've set up a little toolbar there. Um, so if we double click on that, 
Uh, what channel? I think it was to about 13. And then I want it to be auto-close, which means when another one opens up, it will close. So if we save that, okay, we close this. Anywhere on my track panel here, whatever track, if I hit my F1, there is my toolbar that I set up. So I can insert a new item, which will go into the time selection. If I haven't got a time selection, and I do the same thing, hit F1, I can insert an empty item, and it just inserts a little empty item. Um, again, hit F1. Now you notice that arrow that I hit, every time I, I choose the action, the, the toolbar closes. So I can toggle the lines on and off, grid lines. And the reason that switches off every time I hit that is if we look back again, I did that auto close. Now in this case, I'm going to switch that off because I might want to keep that toolbar on, you know, obviously for the, the grid lines, etc. So that might be handy. But with the, the other one, the arrange view one, with the, the uh, sorry, the wrong, I'm looking at the wrong one. Um, it's the arrange view I want to switch off. With these track effects chains, I'll, I want that to switch off. Maybe, you know, if I, it's not a big hassle just to hit F1 again to open it up if I'm wanting to put more in. Okay? So let's say, for example, we want another one on the envelope panel. Uh, and we can do envelope parameter. Let's do the auto close on it again. Uh, another one that I thought might be interesting was on the ruler. Um, in, uh, where was it now? Uh, time selection marker region. I mean, a lot of these toolbars I think I'm going to have to customise now to um, to suit the needs. But just for the, the moment, I'll give you a, a look at this. And then it's simple as hit save. Okay. So I'm going to close that down, then up here on the ruler, I'm just going to place my mouse, hit F1, and here is this time selection marker region. So I can insert markers, insert, insert tempo marker, um, time signatures, etc, etc. You know, you, it's up to you what you put in your toolbars. Um, then, did I do one for the items? Uh, let's see, contextual toolbars. Then we can have one for arrange view, audio item, or just the item, for example. And let's just the the item stroke take toolbar. Okay, save, always hit save. It's this simple, folks, it's this simple. So now on our items, hover our mice over our item, hit F1, and here we have all these different commands to, to that are pertain to our item, okay? But yeah, so that gives you the idea, you know, there's, there's a lot you can do with this. So you can have, as I said, um, if we look at this again on contextual toolbars, you could have a preset 2, which is set, say, for example, to F2. So if I had a toolbar, let's set one up quickly. Um, action, show it's on this. Let's do contextual toolbars. Uh, let's open, close, exclusive toggle toolbar under preset 2, okay, we'll add this, we'll make this F2, okay, yep, okay, let's close that, then if we go into the contextual toolbar section, and we go to track control panel, track panel, and we say track color for that one. And that we will auto close, hit save. So now if I deselect the tracks, go over to track three, hit F2, it opens up the track color 
So if you want to create your custom action so that, it, as I did before, where it selects the track under the mouse, you can do. In this case, well, I'm going to leave it because I can hit F2 and colour both those tracks at the same time. Whereas if I wanted just one track coloured, then I would use the, the F1 because that would select and then you use your colour tool. But if you're with me, I showed you that at the beginning about the custom action where it says select. But if I was going to do this for track colours, I would want that so that it didn't open up. I want to select the tracks because you might want to colour more than one track at a time. Okay. So very simply, folks, there's contextual toolbars. I mean, it's just, it's going to be a real boon for me. I'm, I've got one more album to mix and then I'm going to take a few weeks off and I'm going to really sort myself out with my um, toolbars and my workflow, etc. Because I have been hitting a few snags now that I, with the new studio and the new setup and, you know, this, that and the next thing. I, I really want to try and streamline it a little bit because I'm finding myself using a lot more um, presets in terms of like uh, track effects, etc. I've got effects chains that I just keep putting all the time. So I just want to have a button that I can boom, put that track effects up there. So, so yeah, all good. I mean, this is really cool. I mean, wow. <laughs> How many other doors can you do this in? That's all I've got to say. So on that note, I'm going to lovely, love you and leave you. And uh, happy new year once again. And let's hope we all have a great new year great year and yeah good things are coming cheers folks bye now